Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. For those of you who are new, welcome and thank you so much for stopping by. If you have not already, I would love it if you would click that subscribe button and continue to stop by to check out my new videos. So I'll go ahead and jump right into the topic for today. So this video is actually just gonna be a bag reveal. It's not really gonna be an unboxing because I've already used it once and it's not really a review either because I haven't really had it long enough to really give you an accurate description of like wear and tear and things like that. So it's just a reveal, just kind of give you my first impressions of what I think about the bag. So just a little background, um, most of my handbags are larger bags. I do like a big handbag and that works for me when I'm going to work um, to carry all the things that I need back and forth to work. And then if I'm going like grocery shopping or something, it's usually fine because I can just kind of toss it into my shopping cart. But I was really on a search for something smaller for, you know, like a day trip to the mall or when you're out shopping. I like the totes, they get really, really heavy and they are terrible on my back. And so I was really wanting something like a crossbody bag, I really, I wouldn't wear it crossbody anyway, but I just really needed something smaller that I can just kind of carry my essentials and then not have it completely just weigh down on my shoulder. So I was doing some research just to kind of find something smaller that I really liked. Some of the things that I was looking at, one was like the Gucci, I think it's the Disco, the Soho Disco, I think that's what it's called. And that's like the little square bag with like the Gucci logo on the front. I really like that one. Then I actually found the Gucci Marmot bag. And that is the one that I really, really want. Um, that is on my wish list. That is not what this reveal is today because I cannot get that one just yet, but it is on my wish list. I'm saving up for that one. I think that's probably gonna be the next like luxury handbag that I get. So that's gonna be like later down the road. <laughs> By the time I save up for it, I might want something completely different. So I don't know if I'm gonna get that one or not. But so today I'm gonna share with you the bag that I got to kind of fill that small bag need and to kind of tie me over until I can afford the Gucci Marmot bag. So the one that I went for, I think it's a good pick, but we'll see what your opinion is. I went for the Michael Kors um, Diamond Grommet bag. So if you can see it up close. But this is, it's a small bag. It's kind of like a little rectangle. It is in the color stone, I believe. If not, I'll check. I'll correct it if that's not what the color is. I think it's called stone. But it's really like a kind of a gray, taupey color. So it's kind of smooth leather on the back. And then it has the diamond grommet details on the front. And I really like this one. Um, I got this one in this color specifically because it's really a neutral color and it kind of goes with everything. I didn't really want to do black. I don't know if I get the Marmont bag, I'm not sure which color I'm going to get that one in. But for now, I just got this one because I think it works casually and because it has the little grommets on it, you can kind of get away with it, um, you know, in kind of a dressier setting as well. So yeah, so let me just share with you what I can fit inside. Um, it actually holds a pretty decent amount of stuff. Um, I just have in here what I would need, like my essentials for maybe like a day trip to the mall or maybe a night out. But I don't think this would work for me for like a full day of work, like a you know nine, 10 hour day. I don't think I could fit everything that I would need um, in this one. But what I have in here, this is what it looks like. Um, it's pretty full. Normally I would have my phone in here, but I am filming with it now, but that definitely fits in here pretty easily. Um, so first I have my keys. And yes, I do have a lot of keys, so I don't know, but I'll, my keys fit in there, this is fine. I probably will go ahead and get the uh, six ring key holder from Louis Vuitton, so I'll let you know how it goes. I will have to kind of do a separate set to take off the, you know, the ones that I don't use every day, but I'll see how it works. Um, next, I just have a pack of gum. Um, I have... Um, just a rollerball perfume. This is um, English Laundry by Christopher Wicks. I don't know if anyone else, you know, is familiar with this one, but I actually do like this. Um, it's like a sweet, fruity kind of scent. It's actually, it actually reminds me of Britney Spears' Fantasy. So if you know what that smells like, this is kind of similar, but this is one I keep with me. It's a and I actually have the full size of this as well. Um, yeah, this is the full size. So um, again, English Laundry. I like it. Next. Next, I have just a hand sanitizer. This, I don't know where I got this from. I think this was just like a promotional giveaway somewhere, but it's just like a little flat little hand sanitizer thing. You just kind of spray it on like that. So it's nice. <laughs> um, next, I have my 
sunglasses with me. I shared this in my um, luxury items that I couldn't live without. These are my Burberry shades. These I keep with me all the time and they fit in there fine. Uh, next, I just have some lip balm. This is my Neosporin Overnight Lip Renewal. And then I just have my cards. So these are just my driver's license and my um, debit card or whatever cards I need to carry with me. And that's really it. Um, there is kind of a pocket here. There's no zipper, but there is kind of, kind of like a pocket here. And then there are two separate pockets up here. So, you know, not a lot going on inside, but I mean, it's, it's pretty decent. I kind of had mixed feelings about Michael Kors. I have the Selma in black Safiano leather. That one, I will give a thumbs up. I like that bag. I like the material, the Tafiana leather, because it it really wears really good. You don't have to worry about it. It's a really sturdy bag. It's great for work. Um, you don't have to worry about it scuffing or scratching. So that one, Michael Kors, thumbs up for the Selma. I have another one that is, I think it's called the Lana. I don't know I think it's the Lana but that one it's a soft leather like this one so that's why I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this bag or not but it has kind of soft leather and I don't know it's not a structured bag and I told you before in my last video I really do like structured bags and that one it looks like it's supposed to be structured but it's really not and it kind of got floppy and I really don't like it so much and it actually does because the leather is soft it does scratch kind of easily and I do notice some really bad color transfer when I wear darker color jeans. So that, mm, for that one, I'm probably going to give kind of a thumbs down for that one. I like the look of the bag, but I don't know. It doesn't really work for me. And the hardware on it scratches really easily. Like, like I don't even remember doing anything to the bag really, but there's like a big scratch along um, like the gold hardware. So that, I don't know. I'm not really sure about micro core. For this one, we'll see how it goes. Like I said, I haven't had it long enough to really give you um, any detailed information on wear and tear. So if anyone else has this one or if anyone else has any experience with Michael Kors, if you are thumbs up or thumbs down, you can definitely let me know. But I'll definitely let you know how this one wears um, to see if it, if it kind of holds up or see if it, you know, scratches really easily. So we'll see. I mean, well, that's really it for this one. I don't really have much more I can say about it because I haven't used it so much. Like I said, I did take it out once and I mean, it worked for me. I like it. I think it's cute. So for now, guys, this is what is in the budget. So I'm just going to have to rock with this one until I can save up for my Gucci Marmot bag. Um, if you're interested in this one, I'll definitely link this one below. I did get this one from Macy's and it's on sale now. So if you're interested, um, go check out Macy's or... So as always, guys, thanks so much for stopping by and thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And see you next time.